used to struggle a lot with managing my YouTube channel with my studies but then I started bullet journaling but still it just wasn't enough because there are so many times in your life when you're not gonna have your journal with you and that's exactly when you want to use apps like Notion. I have been using Notion for the last five to six months and not to sound dramatic but this app has literally changed my entire life. So in this video I'm gonna share with you guys how you guys can change your life as well. So let's just get started with this video. I have so many things that I want to talk to you guys about so let's just get started. Okay, so I have never really explained anything on my laptop, so it's kind of tough for me. But I'm gonna show you guys everything that we have going on over here. You guys can see on this screen my 2021 overview. On the left hand side, we have my favorites, and underneath it, we have all like the private things that I have going on. So, in favorites, we have 2021 overview. Then, next, we have CA. After that, we have social media, and then we have all the private ones. So first let's just talk about what you guys can see on the front. So we have 2021 overview. So I got this display picture off of this Notion app only. So let me just show you guys how I got this. So I just clicked on change cover. Then I went on unsplash and here you guys can type in whatever you want to type. And since my word of the year is growth, so I just ended up writing growth in here. So let's just write that again. And there were all these plants in here. And then I just like picked one of these. So that's the display picture that we have. Then underneath that we have the emojis. So you can like totally change these emojis from here. You guys can see. So there are like multiple emojis that you guys can choose from. So I have just used this one. So what this emoji symbolizes here is that this year is gonna bring some amazing news. And it's not gonna be like 2020 which was a complete trash. So that's why I have this envelope as like the emoji. Then underneath that I just have 2021 overview you guys can see and then you guys can see my word for the year which is growth I have talked about it already and then we have my quote for this year so it says focus on progress not on end goals and like that's something that I'm really focusing on because I'm always like you know what this is what I want to achieve this is what I want but then I'm not like focusing on the growth and how I'm like progressing every single day so that's something that I really want to like consider this year and yeah, so we just have that. So underneath that we have a backlink and it goes for yearly goals for 2021 and I have created them in my personal space that we have. I'll show you guys that later. But in yearly goals, let's just show in them first. So we have this backlink and here we again have a display picture, then we have an emoji. I have emojis all over my notion because I love them. And they just add this little bit of spice and it just makes everything look extremely aesthetic which I love. And yeah, then we just have all my goals for this year, which I'm not going to read out loud. So I have 21 goals and I did talk about them in my last video. So let's just go back. So yeah, we were here and then we have year at a glance. And here you guys can see the calendar view right now. So this is what it looks like. I don't have a lot in here. It just, it's like pretty much empty, but I really wanted this thing over here because I personally feel that having a calendar is like really convenient. And you can like totally change it from here. I also have a board view, I guess, yeah. I have a board view as well. And here you guys can see that I don't really have anything much going on in this year. Like I don't really have an idea if there is gonna be something fun in this year. But still I have just like put in everything that I feel is important and I've just like wrote in all the months of the year and yeah. So let me just show you guys how you can do this thing as well. So you just have to go on this thing and it just says plus and new. So you just tap on this and now I'm just going to write in here anything. Let's just write. Okay, so let's write my friend's birthday. Okay, so then you just like tap on it and here you can add in the tag. So for the tags, I have obviously wrote in all the months of the year so that I can like spread them out and let's just write that it comes in February. Yeah. And that's all you, you do and then it just pops in here. You guys can see it right here and if you want to see that thing in the calendar as well then you'll have to go and like give it a date as well. So let's just go and do that. So you guys can see over here they have date written. So you just type in any date of the year. So let's just type in 3. I'm just like showing you guys like a rough idea of what I do. 
so then you just type in that and now once you'll go in the calendar view then you'll see it in the calendar let me just show you guys that so it's right here and like that's so yeah it's like a really easy and convenient way of doing things and then underneath the calendar i don't have anything else going on so yeah that's pretty much what my 2021 overview looks like and yeah that's how this page looks like so to favorite anything you'll just have to go on the right hand side of the screen and here you'll have this thing written favorite and you can like easily favorite it and then you will be able to see it on the left hand side of the screen so now coming to the next thing next we have ca so ca is basically what i am doing and i just have everything over here so right now i'm just taking one subject which is advanced account so i just have that over here and then for the cover we have these books which looks really aesthetic and then for the emoji we just have two written on this medal and like this is the group two so i just have that and then you just like tap on this advanced account so over here you will be able to find everything that you need to know about advanced account for me i really wanted it to be like extremely practical for me so i don't have a lot of things going on but the things that are going on are like something that are really gonna help me out so we just have the cover picture like everywhere else and then we have an emoji right here underneath that we have advanced accounts written then you scroll down then i have just like mentioned the number of lectures that i have and approximately how much time it's gonna take me to complete them then underneath that i just have a link to the lecture so that it's like really convenient and easy for me so we just have that then underneath that i just have the basic details of the professor so we just have the teacher's name and i have their whatsapp number so if i'll have any queries i'm gonna ask them on either whatsapp or even i can ask them on mail and like there are always amendments in like CA exam so I just have a link to the page where I can go and search for the amendments which is great underneath that I have their email obviously then we have a website link on this side also you guys it's like kind of difficult for me to like look at the camera and on the screen at the same time so that's why I'm like kind of confused and I'm like looking everywhere <laughs> if you're enjoying this video so far then go and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up comment below what you want to see next and let's get back to the video okay so after that i have written course strategy and now i'm gonna tackle the entire subject and how i'm gonna start with the subject and just like everything in between so yeah i've just like jot down all the points that i need to remember whenever i'm like studying these subjects and then you just like open this thing and we have a table right here so i've kind of divided them into sections and like i'm tackling each section every single time then marks that each section contains Next we just have the chapter's name and then right next to that I just have this number of days. It just kind of represents how many days it's gonna take me to like complete these chapters. Then if you slide a bit more you will see like the first revision. So the next thing that we have over here is a checkbox and we just have done written on top of it. And then next to it we have the first revision. I will totally add in more revisions when I will be doing them so we just have that. And then you just like scroll down and you'll see my course schedule and I just have every single chapter over here. I haven't like completed this schedule yet. I just have it up until January 16th. I'm gonna like add in everything else a bit later. So we just have the course schedule right here. So we just have the name of the chapter. So what I have done over here is just like divided every single chapter into days and like how many days it's gonna take me so that it will be easier for me so that I'll actually know what I have to do on a particular day. And honestly, if you're doing online classes, this is something that is really nice that you should totally do. And yeah, so we just have this. So yeah, I just have kind of created an action plan for myself over here. And I've like ticked off when these things are done. So yeah, today is January 12th and I still have to do this. So I haven't like ticked it off. And then underneath that we just have final examination written and I have just wrote that the final examination will consist of theory and practical and it's gonna happen in the month of May so we just have that. And then we have exam prep which I'm not gonna show you guys but I've already shown that in one of my videos. So you guys can go and check that video out. I'll link it up in the i bar. So guys that's all for this one. Now let's go to social media and this one is one of my favorites. And this is one of the main places which kind of motivated me to like get into Notion. So we just have this social media place. We again have a cover picture. We have an emoji which shows a laptop. Underneath that you guys can see that we have social media written. Earlier it was just YouTube. But now I have included Instagram here as well. So we have that. And then we have a cute little quote which says let's do what we love and do a lot of it. So underneath that you guys can see that we have YouTube stuff written and I have a calendar view open right now. 
you can totally customize this and you can have a board view and like there are so many modes but i just use this calendar one and the board one so i'm just showing you guys the board view you guys can see that we have some video ideas over here you guys i always used to put my video ideas on my phone in the notes app that you get but then it was getting a lot because i don't have that much space on my phone and that's when i started doing all of that on notion as well so we just have some video ideas over here i am not planning this video now i'm like shooting it so i'm just gonna bring it in shooting so now once you'll click on it you will see like my youtube template okay so this is what you see once you'll open it we just have an emoji i don't have a cover but that's fine you guys can see there is an emoji and underneath that i have the title of the video so this is not like the final title but this is what i started with so we just have that and then you guys can see that in the text it's in the shooting one and then in properties i have wrote school and lifestyle because i'm showing you guys how i'm like organizing my life in this and then i showed you guys how i'm like studying so we have school written over here underneath that we just have content and i don't have anything in there so yeah underneath that you guys can see we have title written and i have quite a few title ideas for this video and underneath that i have some thumbnail ideas so i came across these videos on youtube and i just like picked the ones that i liked and yeah they're just like here for some thumbnail ideas and then underneath that i have like jot down some ideas for the thumbnail again then i have the video content and in that we have p-roll then we just have some of these checklists so we just have that and yeah this is kind of the script for my video and like something that i follow whenever i'm like shooting a video so we just have that over here so guys that youtube template that i just showed you guys is not mine it's like something that i got off of youtube only and i will link that video in the description bar below from where i got the template because i don't remember her name so so yeah i'm just gonna like mention that and over here you guys can see that like i have some video ideas some videos in the planning i don't have any i just had that notion one but now i'm shooting that so we have that over here then we have one place for in editing videos then posted and like scheduled so we just have that i don't have a lot going on in this one right now because i know i'm also concentrating on my school so i don't have anything pre-filmed so yeah we have that and you guys can see everything on the screen then we have the template like the copy of the template that i just talked to you guys about underneath that we just have instagram and we have reels ideas written underneath it again the you guys can see certain things in here and yeah that's pretty much all that we have in my social media place Okay, so now coming to the left hand side. So I've already shown you guys this social media one and 2021 overview. So now let's come to the personal one. So we have a cute little quote which says girl do it for you. Then we have a mood board underneath that. You guys might have seen my mood board already. If you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna link it up in the i bar. You guys can go and check that out. Then underneath that we just have daily, big picture, weekly and miscellaneous. So let's start with the daily one. So in here we just have my routines. I have my morning and my night routine over here. Then next we have habit tracker. So I ended up using the template that Notion provides you. Since today is a Tuesday, I haven't like done it yet. I do it at the end of the day. So yeah, for Monday I've already done it. We just have all the days of the week over here. Then we have all the habits that I'm tracking. I'm not tracking a lot of things because then it gets extremely overwhelming for me. Okay, so now coming back, we have the fitness plan which I installed in today only after watching Annie's video. I'm gonna link her video in the description bar below. Okay, so in this fitness plan, we just have some food ideas and like some breakfast options, some lunch options and then we have some dinner options and then some snack options. So in here, you guys can see that I have this total one as well. You just like tap on it and then you'll see the entire recipe for the thing. So we just have a smoothie recipe which I love. Now I'm gonna tell you guys how you guys can like make any of these into toggle. So you just like tap on it and then you turn into and then you just like go and select the toggle one. So yeah, there you just like have it. And here you can like type in the recipe. And yeah, so that's how you do it. So yeah, we just have some food options right here. Then underneath that, we just have a workout plan. So right now I'm doing the Chloe Ting's 28 day challenge and I just have a link to that. So once I'll be done with the challenge, then I'm really thinking of like creating a workout routine for myself and just like having certain days of the week in which I'm doing like cardio and then on certain days I want to do weights and stuff like that. So yeah, I just have created a table thingy over here and i just have wrote monday to use like all the days of the week and then on this side i have wrote workout then we have the link to the video because obviously i'm not gonna be doing these workouts by myself i'm gonna like i'm probably gonna see some videos on youtube and follow them 
and then the intensity because i really want to see if i'll do like high intensity workouts or not or like if they're like medium intensity and like stuff like that so yeah we just have that over here and so yeah that's pretty much all that i have in my fitness plan then you just like go back and you just have all these things so next to daily one we have the big picture and here i just have my yearly goals and we have my travel plans which i don't have anything in this i just have a page for them and i'm gonna like create them later then we have my weekly for like reset routine and then miscellaneous in this one i have all the things that i want to like buy so obviously we're gonna have some stuff for my youtube channel so, so i just have a memory card and yep then we have a tripod which i ended up buying i'm gonna take it off then we have battery i'm in desperate need of some battery like for my camera so i think i'm gonna buy it later and then so yeah, like these are the few things that i have in this buy area and as the year is going to proceed i'm probably going to add in more things so yeah we just have that and yeah that's pretty much all that we have in this personal space next we have tasks okay so coming on to this task one we just have my task for this day then we have the weekly ones and then we have my to do daily and then the goals so yeah i just have my goals over here as well because i really want to like see them so that i am more like you know what i really want to post thrice a week on my instagram so we just have that over here so that i remember so i just have to post a video or like on my instagram as well so yeah we just have this and i don't use this page a lot just like sometimes i just like use this page and then we have some weekly stuff we have some self care create content water plants and like revise classes and it's like all that stuff so yeah we just have that and i don't have a lot of things in this task one because i don't use it that much then next we have self development you know what this one is the least used page from my entire notion because i always forget to use this page so we just have self development written on the top and underneath that we have it's not enough to just start you have to keep going to which is kind of a motivational quote for myself and underneath that i just have some really amazing things that i have like found or they are like beneficial to me in some way or the other so yeah, i just have those things over here we have some articles some blog posts some podcast and a road map this is something that i just like ended up adding in today only so yeah we just have this again not too cluttered or anything it's like really basic and simple stuff over here then i've already shown you guys my studies one then the last one that we have is this reference stuff and again i was on youtube and i was just like searching for some videos that are going to help me out with my notion and i came across this video and in that video that person was saying why you should have this reference stuff thingy in your notion and it was like really nice explanation so i just ended up adding in this reference stuff page on my notion as well so you guys can see that i have my pan card here and we have registration form for my like exam and stuff like that and then i have some google gmail codes now the reason why you should have this page is because honestly it's like really important if you don't remember things and you're like kind of really bad at it me then what you want to do is you really want to like have everything at one place now having this page in your notion setup is really helpful because even if i don't remember where i've put my pan card but still i can like easily come on notion and find my pan card like a digital copy of that in here and like it's like extremely helpful that way and you can like put in everything and anything in here and you'll be like easily able to like come back to these things because when you have these things in papers and you just like end up like putting them randomly anywhere and everywhere so yeah and then you're just like searching for those things for like hours on end so yeah this is like a really easy way of just like keeping everything extremely organized so yeah we just have these three things in here but yeah i'm totally going to add in more things to this page because i really want to use this page for its maximum potential so with that we are at the end of this tour of my notion and you guys that's what my notion looked like and that's everything that i have going on on my notion again it's not like extremely cluttered or anything it's like extremely minimal and aesthetic at the same time at least i think that it is but yeah so those are all the things that i had on my notion and how these things are helping me out in my life and trust me they really are and i'm highly suggesting you guys to try using this app it's totally going to help you out and now i am saying this as an app because obviously not everybody have a laptop so that's why you can use the app that they have on your phone and it's like extremely easy and yeah i'm going to see you guys in my next video please make sure that you hit that subscribe button the bell button give this video a like and just like comment below let me know what you want to see next and let me know if you use notion or not also follow me on instagram if you are already and 
yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.